Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. Come bring our joy to the Lord, hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks, with songs let us hail the Lord. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. Come in, let us bow men low, let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Hard not your hearts as a mariba. As on that day at mass or in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come, let us adore him. For forty years I was weird of these people, and I said their hearts were astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and for ever. Amen. How wonderful is God among His saints. Come, let us adore Him. Praise we the woman who endued with heroic fortitude has one renown that shall not die. A place among the saints on high. Such holy love inflamed her breast, she would not seek on earth her rest, but strong in faith and patience trod the narrow path that leads to God. Restraining every forward sense by gentle bonds of abstinence, with prayer hungry soul she fed, and thus to heavenly joys has spent. O Christ, the strength of all the strong, to whom alone high deeds belong, through her prevailing prayer on high, 
in mercy hear thy people's cry. All praise to God the Father be, all praise eternal Son to thee, whom with the Spirit we adore for ever and for Lord, you will be pleased with the lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy, me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offence. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offences, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervour sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring at your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favour to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with a lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, you will be pleased with the lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel shall glory in victory through the Lord. Surely God of Israel, the Saviour, you are a God who lies hidden. They will be put to shame and disgraced, all who resist you. They will take themselves off in dismay, the makers of idols. But Israel is saved by the Lord, saved forevermore. You will never be ashamed or disgraced through endless ages. For this is the word of the Lord. 
the creator of heaven, the God who made earth and shaped it, he who made it firm. He did not create it in vain, he made it to be lived in. I am the Lord, there is no other. I have not spoken in secret in some dark place. I have not said to Jacob's sons, search for me in vain. I am the Lord, I speak the truth. I proclaim what is right. Assemble all of you, draw near, you who have escaped from the nations. They know nothing who carry around their idols made of wood and keep on praying to a God that cannot save them. State your case and bring your proofs. Consult among yourselves who proclaimed this beforehand, who foretold it long ago. Was it not I, the Lord? There is no God but me, a God of justice, a saviour. There is none but me. Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear it. It is truth that goes forth from my mouth, a word beyond recall. To me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. They will say in the Lord alone, our victory and power. And to him will come in dismay all who have resisted. Through the Lord will come victory and glory for all Israel's sons. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All the descendants of Israel shall glory in victory through the Lord. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Cry with joy to the Lord of the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made as we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. My brothers, I implore you, by God's mercy, to offer your very selves to him, a living sacrifice, dedicated and fit for his acceptance the worship offered by mind and heart. Adapt yourselves no longer to the pattern of this present world, but let your minds be remade and your whole nature thus transformed. Then you will be able to discern the will of God and to know what is good, acceptable and perfect. God is a help, she will not be moved. God is a help, she will not be moved. The Lord is with her. God is a help, she will not be moved. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God is a help, she will not be moved. You listen to her, O Lord and did not despise those tears of hers, which moistened the earth wherever she prayed. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour in the house of David his servant 
as he promised by the lips of holy men. Those were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant that tree from fear, and save from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice, all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. You listened to her, O Lord, and did not despise those tears of hers, which moistened the earth wherever she prayed. With all the holy women, let us praise our Saviour and call on him in prayer. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you said of the woman who was a sinner, her many sins are forgiven because she has loved much. Grant us your forgiveness for our many sins. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, women ministered to your needs on your saving journeys. Open our eyes to see you in those who need our help. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord and Master, Mary listened to your teaching and Martha did the serving. May our faith grow ever deeper and our love go out to others. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you called those who do God's will, your brother and sister and mother. Teach us to live as members of your family. Come, Lord Jesus. At the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. God our Father Comforter of the sorrowful, you accepted St. Monica's offering of tears for the conversion of her son, Augustine. 
Help us by her their intercession to be truly contrite for our sins so that we may receive the grace of your forgiveness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.